Good morning. It's day 21 and it's Wednesday. I get to see you tonight. We are in James 4, 1 through 3. And I'm going to read it for you. And uh, I'll tell you a couple things I got out of it. Kind of an interesting one today. But we're starting on chapter 4. We're just, we have literally 11 days left. I can't believe it. We have three more Wednesday nights tonight and then two more. And so uh, James chapter four, one through three. What is the source of wars and fights? Don't they come from your passions that wage a war within you? You desire and do not have, you murder and, and you covet and you cannot obtain. You fight and you wage war. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures. What the heck is James talking about? Well, the first thing that I pulled out of here was the word wars. What does that mean? We know what a war, we know the word war, but I looked it up and the word war me is defined as a situation where people or groups compete with or fight with each other. That makes sense. So when he talks about what is the source of the wars, what is the source that causes people to fight or compete with each other? It's the cause. It's the point where something begins. It's how it starts. So what is the source of wars and fights? Hmm, let's see. Don't they come from your passions that wage a war within you? Wow. So I start thinking, okay, what, what does this mean? And then when he gets down and he says, you don't have because you do not ask, you ask and you receive because you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives. I started thinking about the idea of throwing a fit. You know, what is a fit? Well, it's an angry emotional reaction. And I kind of see James talking here about somebody take kind of throwing a fit. So I thought, okay, you know, he even goes on and he talks about uh, the you desire and do not have, you murder and you covet and kind of obtain, you fight and wage war. Wow. Well, murder is determined by the state of mind and intent. You have first degree, you have second degree. You, you look in our law, our law system, and there are different degrees of murder, and they're all separated by the determination or what the state of mind is. What was your intent when murder happened? So I back that up and I look at what is the source of our wars and fights. It's when people or compete people are competing with or fighting with each other. Why? Because we want our own way. We want our own way. So how does that apply to our relationship to God? Well, I asked myself this question, and this is what I wrote on my post-it note today. Am I waging a war for a worthy cause, or am I throwing a fit to get my own way? Am I waging a war for a worthy, worthy cause? Am I fighting and competing with, with other people for a worthy cause? Or am I just throwing a fit to get my own way? The source, the point where the fight begins, the intent on the inside of your heart determines whether we're waging a war or whether we're just plain throwing a fit. I don't like to think about the idea that I throw a fit to get my own way, but I do sometimes. I do. So I leave you with that. So what I got on my quiet time. I'm excited to see you guys tonight. And tonight I got another little story for you. Um, another little window that I'm going to open into my uh, life. Something that happened to me this week where we're talking about what we do and how we act and what we say reveals what we believe on the inside and how does that play out when others see it. So something bizarre happened to me this week and I will share it with you tonight. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Have a great day.